And we had a lot of questions about it. A lot of people wanted to take advantage of that special $15.30 special on a $75 font. It's a very beautiful font. Um, when you um, purchase the font, you get this document that tells all about this. It's a user's guide. shows you what's included. So it includes 2,700 glyphs or flourishes and over 1,100 alternate and swash letters with upper descenders and lower descenders and all kinds of interesting things. So they give you some um, technical details and notes and show you how to use it. Well, they recommend using it in Illustrator. And I tried that today, and I can see why that is an advantage. But if Illustrator is very expensive, and if you don't have Illustrator, you can still use this font in Make the Cut. Here's some of the swashes and alternates that are listed. In the, in the um, character map, there actually lists all of the A's together all the uppercase A's, all the uppercase B's, C's, and so on, so that if you're looking for a particular letter, you can just select the style that you want. And the nice thing in Make the Cut is that Make the Cut allows us to select from the actual character map right in the software, so we don't need expensive or other software to, to use these. And um, at the bottom, after you go all the way down past the lowercase letters, there are some special, there's numerals, and there's discretionary ligatures. This is the combinations of letters that work together, and then they have some ornaments which can be used in any way you want. And some complete words, catch words, kind of for invitations and things that, that are already put together for you. So um, one thing that I figured out is that these fonts come in uh, script or upright. And if you get the um, $37 package, 33-something with the discount code, you would um, also, besides getting both the uh, upright and the italic, you would get the bold versions. Now, I recommend the bold versions for cutting because they're just a little thicker. This is the bold version. I just put my name there. Um, I think you'll be much happier cutting if you get the bold versions. If you order just the italic or the upright for the fifteen dollars and thirty cents, you're gonna you can thicken it yourself, but if you don't have to thicken it yourself, then that's another option. So I'll show you the differences between these thicknesses. Also, another thing that to think about is that when you order the either whatever you order, the desktop version is what we use for cutting. They offer web fonts as well, but um, those aren't going to help you with Make the Cut. So um, what, when you in, install these or purchase these, you're going to purchase the desktop version unless you want both, particularly if you want the web version for a web page. Um, and the other thing is that the open type fonts, or the OTF fonts, are the ones with all the extra special characters. If you, if you use just the true type font, TTF, you're not going to get all these extra special things. And some software will not use um, open type fonts, so only use the true type fonts. But Make the Cut will use, use either or. So if you're going to install these in your Windows system fonts folder, then install the open type font to use in, um, to be able to access all these characters and use Make the Cut 
to select the characters. So to use these, now that um, one thing that, that I don't want to do is add more fonts to my Windows font system because I already have so many that my system gets slowed down from them. So if you don't want to slow down your system, you don't install them in the Windows fonts folder unless you need to use them in some other software. But in Make the Cut, we have the option of clicking this double T here in the Text and Fonts tab of the main toolbar. So if I click this, then I can browse to where I, I stored my fonts. I always um, download my fonts to a fonts folder that I call My Fonts, and these are fancy script. So I install these in my fancy script folder. And if you get the $37 version of Samantha, it's called Samantha Script Family. So you would open that. And you see here that we have OTF and TTF. So I want to, in order to take advantage of all these fancy little things here, I want to um, install the bold OTF. And a, a demo of that is here at the bottom. But you can also click on Control, no, Shift, and you can install several at a time. So if I want, it, want the bold OTF, I can get the italic and the upright. I'll just hold control so I can skip the true type font because it will only install one anyway and um, you want the open type to take advantage of all the extra things here. So um, I have the bold italic and then I have the bold upright. Now I can do the regular italic and the regular upright. So I can install all four. And, but before I click on open, I'm going to click on this tiny little box in the bottom if I want, it, want them permanently installed and make the cut. If I only want to use them during this one session, I would not click this box. If I want to use it have it permanently inside Make the Cut, I click that box and then click Open. So now, um, in order to access these fonts and these special characters, I need to make sure that all glyphs are checked in this box. Show Font Face shows me the font in its actual um, when it's a true type font, it'll show me the actual font itself up here. So that's what show face means. So you want to have all glyphs chosen. Now all of these um, special characters are part of the private collection and you only can access those if you show all the glyphs and they won't be available and other software necessarily if the true type font is installed. So if you find the find the shape that you want to use and just double click it to add it to your screen. So let's say that I want this fancy little character here, that's a Y, then you can resize it however you want. Now you can click on the T here and type in the text that you want. And accept it. Then you can figure out if this is the regular um, things that would come up if you were just um, install the true type font. But if you want to use some of the special characters instead of the the fancy ones, or you want to use fancy instead of the regular, 
you can just resize it and get rid of the original 